Hi, I'm an imposter, or at least that's how I feel. I've just come back from my first day of architecture at Cambridge. Stay tuned for a vlog at the end. And I'm just not sure if I'm good enough. And I'm especially unsure about whether I'm good enough to be sharing content online. But I've watched some videos that are really helpful. I'll put links up over here. And one of those things that's helped with this was a video from Ali Abdul. Bing! <laughs> he talked about the idea of guru versus guide. I don't want to sit here on top of some high mountain and preach to you about how to get into Cambridge or about how to slay your first day. Because to be quite honest with you, I'm still figuring it out for myself. Instead, I kind of hope to figure out this whole Cambridge thing together. And so with that note, on with the vlog. Welcome to Wednesday. All of us postgrads are presenting a miniature version of our research proposal. Thought I'd try and film a little bit of today if I can. And then maybe this evening I'll come back and I'll sort of present to you guys so that you know what a little bit more about my research too. Enjoy. One of the things I am really loving about Cambridge is the fact that everybody cycles. The architecture department is just behind me there. We've got the masters or postgrad studios up in this building. And right underneath is this coffee shop called Hot Numbers, where I'm absolutely about to grab myself a coffee. <laughs> just done the morning session, but oh my gosh. I didn't think I'd be this nervous, but I really, really am. I'm just gonna take a deep breath and give it a go. And I think get used to the sort of criticisms that people are presenting, it's a good thing. Got myself some lunch. Really fascinating topics being talked about in architecture at the moment. I think it's really nice that we're mixed with the fifth years and the design fellows. So everybody's making a commentary on other people's work. Mine's after lunch. So we've just finished our first day and we've been given a tour of our two studio areas. One is here, just above hot numbers, and the other's in a more modern building called the Dyson Building. Just like that, my first day in architecture is complete. And honest thoughts here, I'm feeling rather dumb. <laughs> I backed myself on my project and I'm really happy that I presented it and I got through it. I mean, yay. Time seems to be super tight already. Of course, hasn't even really started, but I'm gonna introduce a new segment, which can be cooking with Jenny. Which is whilst I decompress my ideas and thoughts from the day as I cook. So today we've got a very easy, very simple corn curry. That's what's on the menu. Um, this is so cringy, but do you know what? These are the vibes. I just want to start this off by saying these are literally my unfiltered thoughts. I've quite literally just cycled back from architecture. To start on that feeling of imposter syndrome, I certainly feel it. I'm very new to the idea of research and the idea of sort of philosophical thought and honestly just reading academic papers it's all quite new new to me and that's okay ready today after presenting the tutors have challenged my thoughts already so this is the script that i read from and i'm just going to read to you some of the thoughts that they sort of proposed to me the first question was, how do i see learning we all sort of took a very traditional approach and is this perhaps outdated are we making a school for all? Is this even possible? Previously, women weren't allowed in higher education institutions, and well, here I am, so thank you very much to people of the past. Maybe I should look into ways of making sure that the education spaces that I create are also inclusive to all. I will do my very best to do so. Time to grab a pan. <laughs> this is gonna be a nightmare to edit, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So it's hard to look at uh, the League of Futurists. I'm sure we'll do some research on these people, but at the moment my understanding are they are some people who have produced models for what the future actually looks like. And this is important because if I'm proposing research that looks to future contexts, 
then I probably need to be benchmarking my research against something, right? And then there's also the concept of, you know, when is it not retrofit? Come on! Oops. When I'm looking at retrofit on a site such as a school which is ever-changing, surely it's always a retrofit approach. There's also this idea of what actually is education itself. It's in its fundamental principles, is it the transmission of knowledge? We want to question what is the purpose of a school? It's also taught to look at like adolescence as a lens. It's definitely my onions sizzling away when I move you over here. But anyway, all of these things are very new to me. Uh, I'm going to embrace it. I'm going to try and remember to back myself. I deserve a place here as much as everybody else even if my background is a little bit less philosophical. It's already opened many things in my head. I think I had a very concrete idea of what I wanted to do and I'm learning that maybe that I aim of doing research over the course of two years is to be a bit more flexible with that and to, you know, really challenge these concepts of what is education, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I feel like I've rambled on long enough there. Editing journey, I'm so sorry to you, girl. That's, that's gonna be hard to condense. Jobs are good in, one current created. Editing Jenny here. And I wanted to say that after a week of studying and of talking to other people and other students, I've realized that this feeling of imposter syndrome is certainly actually very common, um, but it's also something that's got a little bit better. You know, we all have come to Cambridge. We've all deserved, we all deserve our place here. And to be quite frank, as long as you're passionate about learning, so long as you're trying your best and your best for me at least, it means trying hard in your education, but also having a healthy mental state and also, you know, social and physical state. All of those things combined together, for me, is doing your best. It doesn't mean spending every single hour on education. Anyway, sidetrack. But you know, so long as you're trying your best, I think you're absolutely smashing it. So you know, go you, go us, we're in this together. And if you want to follow the journey, please do feel free to subscribe. And on that note, I just want to end with saying thank you ever so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this week's video and I'll catch you very soon. Bye guys.